All right, Dr. Elier, I see the Western Street Board have yes, done sir. some good work with the women's cricket, and of course, I've gone as far as giving the ladies retainer contracts, and we can see the fruit from that, the team being a very successful team to date. But I speak to, on the men's side of it, the first class cricket is still a substandard level, and I've, I've seen a few choices by the Western Street Board in 2010 to play all three games in one particular territory, trying different things. Of course, T20 has been brought to television um, and been broadcast around the world. What do you think has been the downfall in the Western Street Board not being able to promote cricket better and to improve the standard of first class cricket? Well, I, I think that there are a number of, there are a number of issues, but you, you have to separate it. it. The downfall, I think it, it is very clear. The standard of our first competition has to, to improve, and, and part of the solution will be engaging players full time. And you mentioned retainer contracts. We have to move to a stage where we can offer retainer contracts to our first class players so they can dedicate themselves more to their skill development and their own um, levels of performances. And I think when we're able to move in that direction, we will have a larger group of players that can dedicate themselves to improving um, their, their own skills. The, the nature of the competition has to be addressed so to ensure that players play um, more cricket, that they also play in, in better facilities that could assist them in their performances. We have tried to do a few things over the last few years, including playing the regional 40 tournaments at the test on international venues to ensure that you know the players get the best available in the region. Uh, it is still a financial stretch to be able to offer retainer contracts to first class players, but we are in discussions now with to put in place a facility and arrangement where we can start offering retainer contracts to first class players. Um, I, I think the promotion of Westerners cricket will require a more um, encouraging environment within the region. The, the, there's still too much of the contentious issues, the conflicts, the fights, uh, and there, there's still a lot of skepticism um, from sponsors and also the public as to whether or not we are actually moving forward in a very coordinated way. And I mean, I keep referring to the issues with, with FIFA, but it, it is essential that some of those issues and concerns are addressed and, and dealt with. Because if we do so, we all contribute towards a more conducive environment. It has not been it has not been easy to do so, but we need to continue to work on it. And I think if we start putting together all the elements, players on regional retainers, um, better facilities for them to play in, better training programs, better coaching programs, better technical support for the players, and to have a more conducive you know environment generally in the region for our cricket, we will see more investment in cricket. Um, Dr. Hillier, we, we've got to wrap up. Can I just ask you very quickly, um, your title sponsors, Digicel, I, I'm not sure if their contract is almost coming to an end. Is, is it likely to be reviewed with the existing sponsor or are you seeking another? Well, I mean, the, 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 there are still negotiations ongoing and it would be a little inappropriate to say anything on, on that matter. Okay. Um, I've, I've got to thank you for, for coming on and, and uh, being as uh, candid as you have been. Uh, we wish you all the uh, best in uh, your future endeavor as uh, St. Lucia's ambassador to London. Are you sure diplomacy is your forte? <laughs> well, well I'll, t I'll tell you something, um, <laughs> Simon. I can either, you, you have to be able to, to yeah, let me say, perform the role that is required at a particular time. Uh, and there is no better, um, you know, example of diplomacy than that. You know, if it is required that I don't say much, I won't say much. In West Indies cricket, there's a lot of talking and saying that has to go on. And we cannot keep quiet about the things that are wrong and just pretend it will go away. We need to take this decision. If there is one thing I want to be remembered for, it is because I was straightforward and when necessary, I took the difficult decision. I did not turn my back and pretend it did not exist and allowed it to be made by somebody else. Now, I did not always make friends in all circles, but the point is, when an issue had to be dealt with, I dealt with it. And, and that is what was required. Um, in, another, in another engagement, I may have to keep quiet and just listen, and I will do just that. Um, <laughs> but, you know, so, so it is. All right, Dr. Elier, I um, just want to say thanks for coming on the show, and of course, all the best in your future endeavors, and I hope your job is not as difficult as the one you are doing now. Have a good one. I don't think any job can be more. <laughs> 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 All right, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, right. Dr. Ernest Hillier there, outgoing um, CEO of uh, West Indies Cricket Board. Well, good talk. Yeah. Of course. I, I'll give him this. For someone who is in such a contentious position, um, to come on a show like this, uh, take some cojones, and I, that I appreciate. Come argue your points. We don't get enough of that from our administrators. They run and hide whenever the doo-doo hits the fan. Is it? Yeah. Who, do I, who I appreciate is Alexis Nunez. That's for sure. Thank you very much, Wavell. <laughs> and from cricket to football, we go for this football frenzy zone update. All right, we are back on the zone. Um, enjoyed that uh, a lot. Uh, we must say, by the way, the gentleman sitting beside me is the president of uh, WIPA, um, who, who I, I know to be a compromising sort of fellow, except when he's right, uh, miserable. Um, <laughs> What, what, what do you think? Uh, to be fair to Dr. Hillier, we didn't go on to, to get a chance to talk about the positives in West Indies cricket. Um, and, and maybe we'll get somebody else to do those. Um, but I found it f funny that he, he wouldn't give me an example of w Weeper being difficult. Maybe he couldn't recall, but the one he gave was not... Well, the one he gave was certainly the one that shows that Weeper is a compromising entity. Yes, that, and, I and thought of course that. he said that Weeper has reserved their rights, which is all right. And, and you, were, you were at the cricket. I went to Florida. Right. You can remember well, yeah. I went to Florida and I watched the games. And and just Weeper to make sure to see what for first time what the conditions was. was Weeper like. wasn't the only entity that had a problem with playing in Florida. The president of Guyana also of spoke course. on that. And there is a dilemma, but you understand the board's position, and I can understand his position. And the chance spread cricket, and yeah. if, if cricket is, is gets yeah. bigger in America. And the revenues are there as well. Okay, all parties will benefit. So I can understand that, but the conditions and the situations must be right in, for our members. In the time that you've been president of WIPO, what's your dealing with him been, been like? Well, I think we have always had a, a, a very good relationship, a cordial one, of course. We don't always agree on everything, but right. that's, that those agreements are dealt with in a, in a respectful manner. And I, I, I don't know Mr. Hillier to be um, someone to... to and I, are, you, are you aware of... Because he, Dr. Hillier kept saying that there haven't been 14 arbitration victories, but we, I, I'm hearing figures of... Uh, 2.5 million in, U in I, US I, I, in fees, I, I, illegal what fees. I, what, I, what I will do, I, what I will do, I, I probably, I, I, I'm at liberty to say this, mm -hmm. I will contact the, the Secretary of WIPO to our, president, our CEO, Mr. Michael Hall, right. for him to provide a list the, the, of the all list of them. the different things um, and supply to your, our editors here and then you guys can fetch it through. But the concern for the board has to be these payouts, their deficit, 
the legal fees that they incur, uh, not only on, on behalf of their own legal team, but I, I see in the, um, the awards that they have to pay WIPA's legal fees and well, so on. I think those are, those yeah. are normal services. Yeah, but I'm, say, I'm just talking about the overall uh, cost. Well, can't be healthy for a boy I, I that's can't, struggling I, I, with I'm, I have lost count. It's, it's, mm. it's enormous. So I heard a figure of a deficit, the board deficit of 17 million. Um, and we needed an hour and a half with Dr. Hillier to go through everything, including the positives that have taken place in West. Like the HPC, let's say. The, the HPC, HPC is a great is great a very thing. good one. Yeah. And that came under Dr. So let, Hillier. let you talk about the good things in West Indies cricket then. Of course, uh, you have got the HPC, the, right. uh, you have women's cricket. Right. Um, I think the, the under 19 program have been good. They've been preparing for two years, even though they didn't get to the finals. But yeah. I thought that was a um, good vision, vision by WIC to allow them to, to practice. Um, I don't know if I can go any further. The team looks at, 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 at to have a different sort of a spirit. Yeah. Not always in agreement with selection, but selection is a purview That's of the selectors. Right. But I think the team's culture looks a little bit different, and they've got a, a fighting spirit going forward. So I, 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 I can speak to those things that I can see immediately in front of me. All right. Um, there you go. Let's turn our attention now to football. It's not good news.